Kev, a point here at Salford. How do you assess today's performance from your side? I think, um, you know, considering Salford haven't, you know, lost at home, um, they've won all their home games, um, I think it's a really good point in the end. I think, um, you know, you can't start a game of football, you know, within two minutes you, you want nil down. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, really poor, poor goal to concede. Um, lack of concentration. Um, and, you know, you're down one nil. But, as we said about the group, um, real strength of character, real resilience in our performance from the goal onwards. I think we, um, we were comfortable in the, in the first half. We created some good chances and got into some really good areas. Um, and then obviously deservedly, you know, scored a really good goal from Tom. Really bit of magic inside the box. It was a great strike. And, um, you know, you're going into half-time quite comfortable at that, at that point. Um, then second half, again, don't think we started that great in the first five, ten minutes. Um, but then we got an ascendancy and started to control the game. Um, and, you know, there was nothing in the game. But, you know, a long ball forward, we should deal with, with a long ball. It's basics. Um, and then they've got a corner out of it. And then, uh, obviously, the corner was just schoolboy football. Um, you know, people have assigned jobs and assigned roles. They have to do their role. They have to apply themselves better. They have to be more resilient in their performance um, and stay more focused. Because that, that second goal was, was just, you know, schoolboy defending. And it's not acceptable for us. And we were really hard on set plays, um, for and against, um, and, and that goal was really disappointing, you know, because we nullified a really, really good team with some really good players, um, and tactically we, our game plan was spot on, but you can't concede goals like that. Um, but, as I said, the, um, again, good resilience from the group, and then we managed to score a goal from a set play, which we've um, been working on um, earlier on uh, this week, so... That's pleasing. Um, and then obviously, you know, the you know, ref played how long he, about, about 15 minutes, extra time and all those things. But yeah, all in all, on reflection, some really good individual performances. I'm delighted with um, with the players we brought in this week. I thought Tom Fellows for his first game was, was outstanding. Um, I thought Caleb, when he came on, gave us a real threat in the final third. Um, and then obviously, you know, Nichols up top was, was a real threat and a real handful. You know, we are a bit unfortunate at this moment in time in terms of some of the things that have happened behind the scenes um, in terms of injuries. You know, George Frankham, the club captain, was used to start today and picked up an injury, um, you know, innocuous in training. So he, he was out um, today, this morning. Um, Travis, again, had to make a change in the back line. He had to come off at half-time, another injury. Um, so those things aren't really going for us defensively uh, in that moment of, of uh, the end of the pitch. But as I said, you know, I know I'm full, fully confident of the attacking force that we have in the group and it was really good to see some, some real good play in the final third at times. You mentioned that character. I suppose it was even more of a positive point that the fact that we came back twice and we didn't lose the lead twice. We came back and, and brought it back, didn't we? Yeah, of course. You know, we don't want to be you know, having to come back, but you know, what it shows is there's a real togetherness within the group. Um, there's a real you know, never say die. We showed it the other night against Portsmouth where we were 2-1 down with, with you know, 10 minutes to go. We came back into the game. Um, and again tonight, you know, we've done it many times this season and it's something we don't want to keep having to do. But again, it shows the, um, the togetherness of the group that we're going to need from now um, right until the, the rest of the season. And it's probably one of those games without the opening five or ten minutes of each half, we probably could have won that. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, they did have some good chances. They're a really good side and we had to do a lot of things um, tactically to, to try and nullify their, their threats in the game. We did it very well um, and we could have um, a bit more quality in the final third with a transition. We um, could have got in a couple couple of times a bit with a final pass. Um, but overall, I think it's, it's a really good point, um, a point we will um, gratefully take, but um, not be delighted with because we want to win games. And as I said, I repeat, I think um, you know, giving up soft goals is something we need to stop. Uh, we haven't been giving up soft goals, um, apart from um, a couple of set plays, which we've been disappointed with, but the goals were, were, were poor today. And um, we've shown it tactically in the general play of the game, you know, we, um, we defended quite well. We never really had that injury. Like it was great to see Ludi come back on, but in place of Travis Johnson, he had to make way, didn't he? Of course, you know. And uh, the back three that started today was a back three that, that played against Fulham. Have done ever so well. Um, obviously, we were going to George was going to start today, coming back into the team, and um, it's unfortunate that um, he gave us that bit more experience at the back. And it's unfortunate he picked up a, an injury, in, you know, out of nothing in training yesterday. So, you know, that's disappointing. Hopefully, it won't be too long. Um, you know, and um, you know we can get some more uh, of our players that are still on the uh, treatment table back.
along our way up here to Greater Manchester, about 151 Crawley fans, just outstanding travel once again. They were amazing. Um, thank you so much for the support. Um, you know, they really got behind the team, even at 1-0 down, and um, pushed us on to, to get the equaliser. And then obviously in the second half, when we, were, uh, we scored, they were fully behind us and trying to um, see the game out in the last sort of five, ten minutes. So, you know, thankful to every supporter that, 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 that travelled today and, um, you know, fully appreciative of, uh, of their support for the team. Kev, thank you very much. Libby, a point today against Salford City. How do you sum up the performance of the lads? The lads were great efforts for all the team. Like, we actually worked hard together to, like, get the equaliser. So, I'm very pleased with that. Pleasing for yourself to get back in the side after the injury you got at Harrogate, but sad to come on in the place of Travis Johnson. Yeah, obviously Travis is my mate, so everyone knows that. Like, I've been like good for him, like, but I hope he's, he, he'll be back soon. So yeah, but other than that, yeah, I'm happy to get a goal and then just ready to carry on. Yeah, talk us through that goal. It was a bit of a scramble in the box, wasn't it? But I think you were the most alert in there just to, to get it in the goal, weren't you? Yeah, like Tears delivered it like in the back post. I saw it, so I think I headed it. I don't know how come. I just like finished it. So look, it's in the back of the net, like 2-2. Two, two, we're happy with that. And obviously we defended. Very well. Obviously, two early goals in each half conceded, but apart from that, we look we look to keep the danger out, didn't we? Yeah, like obviously defensively, we know what to do. Like we know like, exactly how like to shuffle over. So actually, a like, great chemistry between everyone. So I'm pleased with that. And there are a few new faces in there today. We saw Caleb out there. We saw obviously Tom Fellows out there from the start, and you were working on that right side with him, weren't you? Yeah, Tom. Yeah, he just came out and brilliant. Like Caleb too. Like very pleased to see like there's two guys coming in. Like very like adapt quick. So very happy with them. And obviously it's been a few weeks out for yourself, but how's the recovery been? And are you, f- are you feeling at full strength yet, or do you think it'll take a bit longer? No, <laughs> no obviously recovery was like quite quick. Like I came back very, very, very good. I feel good, I'm like, ready to kick on this week and then be ready for Saturday. Yeah, we're excited to see you out there hopefully next Saturday. What, what do you make of that game? Is it, is it a game we need to win now? Yeah, we definitely need the three points and a clean sheet like what we did. Like Obviously, all the Cubs games, so we need to put it up right in like the league games now. So, yeah, very looking forward to it. And 151 Crawley fans up here at Salford today. Amazing support, wasn't it? Yeah, very good. Like, I could hear them like on the goal. So I was happy like start scoring in front of them. So no, very very happy in general. Like just got it. Like we didn't get the three points, and that's it. You're turning into a little bit of a goal scorer for us now, aren't you? Oh, that's the second goal now, eh? <laughs> building, no, building a table. <laughs> no, just I just happy to get that and just help the team defensively, offensively. I just try my best like to help the team out. Lily, it's great to have you back. Thank you. Cheers.